guys. For this week's episode of Digital Suite, we have a special guest with us today, Sky Townsend. She's a singer, songwriter, and she doesn't want to be called this. Well, she doesn't call herself this, but she's funny <laughs> as hell, so we'll call her a comedian. So, Sky, tell us, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. What have you been up to? What are you working on right now? Um, well, basically, I mean, for the past few years, I've been kind of trying to use the internet to create a platform and a fan base before dropping my music. You know, I think it's the worst thing to have to beg people to listen to your stuff. You know, that is just like, listen, 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 nobody wants that. And so um, I used comedy kind of as a platform to, to gain an audience. And uh, I just dropped my music. Um, my EP is called Rocking Chairs. Um, I'm performing now. And so I'm really excited. I think it's funny because, you know, everyone knows me for being funny. And then they're like, you make serious music. Right. But, you know, I still kind of incorporate the comedy in the performances. So, okay. so it works. Awesome. Yeah. When did you know you wanted to be like a singer for real? Um, well, I'll say when I was talented because <laughs> I, I wanted to sing. I was like three, like, la, la, and my parents were like, oh, make it stop. Um, but I didn't have a voice until I was like 13. And when I got my voice, it was very deep. And I was like, oh my God, this sucks. I sound like Tony Braxton. I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> and you know, and all my friends had Britney Spears and I was like, this is the worst voice ever. And it wasn't until I realized that about, you know, tone and I studied Nina Simone and I was like, wow, okay, like this, this works. Um, so yeah, I couldn't really sing until I was 13, but I loved it. I always loved it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Loved awesome. It. And I know that your father is the wonderful Robert Town. <laughs> I know that, you know, you seem, like you said, you're, you're creating your fan base online. You're kind of yeah. doing your own thing without being yeah. like, I'm Robert Townsend's daughter. And a lot of people use their parents. You don't need to get hit, so why was that so important for you to just do your own thing? It, it literally makes me break out in hives when somebody is like, I'm a celebrity kid. It's just like, no one cares. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you can have all the money in the world, you can have the greatest parent in the world, that doesn't make you a star. You know what I'm saying? Like, speak for yourself. And at the end of the day, my dad was, you know, huge in the 90s, but some young kids, if I tell a 13-year-old, oh, I'm Robert Townsend's daughter, they'll be like, he was in a Disney movie, right? You know, like, they don't really, you know, <laughs> they don't really know. Yeah, they're like, um, I think I saw him before. Um, so it's like, you know, you have to really blaze your own trail. Like, it's not impressive to just carry a name. And at the end of the day, you know, if anything, I know that it holds weight and I want to impress him. But I'm like, you know, and I told him in the beginning of my career, I said, just, just stay out. You know, like, just leave me alone. I said, because if I didn't jump hurdles, I would have never grown. Mm -hmm. Like, if I just got straight to the top, I'd be there like, okay, uh, what do I do now? Right. You know, but having to learn how to handle men in the industry, having mm -hmm. to learn that I had to work so much harder because I was a black girl, you know what I mean? Having to learn what I carried on my shoulders being a black girl, it's like there were so many lessons that I went through that it was like, if you just put me at the top, I would be clueless. I think it's really important for any celebrity kid to make your own way. Like, yeah. no one's impressed by that. Right. You know, that doesn't make you a star to just have a name. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no money, your parents do. Right. <laughs> I learned that very young, so. <laughs> I never had nothing, so uh, yeah. But um, I, I think that's important, you know, for anything, work hard. So a lot of people know you for like being funny. Yeah. Do you worry that that'll like keep them from taking your music seriously? Um, that was always my concern, but I think you know, above being funny, it's important for me to be transparent and relatable. I think I use comedy to be relatable, but I think that people still see I have a message. If you were to create a web series for young black girls, what would it be about? Or an experience, would you depict it off of an experience that you had as a teen? I think my whole life was funny because <laughs> I was the only black girl in school, right? So it's like, uh oh, sassy girl, you know, it's all that. You know, she's so angry, y'all are. I would, you know, they'd bring their glass to school for lunch. I'm like, why would you? Like, why? You know, then they pack it back up. I bring my plastic forks. Mm -hmm. Oh, so ghetto, Skylar. Yes. I'm like, what's ghetto about that? I was like, that's smart. They're like, wow, you're so ghetto and hood. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's almost like the everybody hates Chris mentality where yeah. it's like, you know, everything is a funny joke because I'm a black girl. Yeah. But I mean, once you learn how to laugh at it, it's like the same girls that were like, your lips are so big, I can land a plane on them, have lip injections now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, mine are real and yours look really silly. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, you have to learn to just <laughs> laugh at it. But I think a show just laughing at I mean, even look at Blackish and like they make fun of so many stereotypes and whatever mm -hmm. of like you're cool because you're black in school, you know. But it's really like that. It's like yeah. my homegirl is black, like, and it's like, okay, you know, like <laughs> you're down. Um, but I think it would just be something that laughs at society because you just have to be able to laugh at it. I think there's certain things you can't laugh at. Mm -hmm. But I think you know, like people don't know no better. Like you really have to be like, your mom did not teach you better than to say something that crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think I would just spoof what black girls go through. Like, you know, because I, I have some stories. Right. Like, oh, your hair got so long. I'm like, I got braids, guys. I'm like, this, yeah, yeah. Is, this so is not long. real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your hair got so long. Thank you for watching this special episode of Did Y'all See? And special thanks to Sky Townsend for joining us today. <laughs> for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Madame Noir.